today we are going to create a double exposure effect uh, in this technique we will blend two images in one image so let's just start our work without wasting any time Welcome back everyone, my name is Adnan Chaudhary from OneShot Production. So I'm going to use this image, uh, I mean to say this uh, tree. So first of all, we will uh, select this uh, tree for crop. So we will just click on quick selection tool by pressing W on your keyboard and we will select the tree. okay so i have selected the tree don't worry about it. we have selected the background including in this uh, selection so we will deal with the blue background later so first of all we'll go to refine edge now uh, i have just already uh, tried some settings so the settings are my view mode is on layers and uh, uh, the smart radius is on and radius is 84.1 for this particular image and shift is plus 26 and contrast is 30 percent and uh, output is uh, i have just uh, set it as a de decontaminant colors and uh, amount is 54 percent and i have outputted it on a new layer with layer mask so hit ok and you can see that we have a nice cut it uh, edged uh, tree and now we will deal with uh, our blue background blue sky so what we will do it for this so we'll just select our layer and we will go to select and sorry select and go to color ranges uh, okay so after getting color ranges we will just click on the blue background and press shift and add extra blue colors okay so now what we will do is we will we will increase fuzziness and a little bit more so we could get more selection option and there we go now if we when we will click ok now you can see that we have a little selection around this blue area so uh, what we will do is we will just select the layer mask thumbnail and press alt plus backspace and when your color foreground color is black so press ctrl d now you can see that the blue color is gone and now what we will do is we will use another image which we will use for expose so this model and uh, what we will do is we will just unlock this layer we will go to select and color in again and we will select this color now we will just decrease the fuzziness to about 12% uh, uh, until we will get all of this model to black so hit ok and now it will create a selection around this model uh, uh, around its uh, uh, white area so what we will do is we will just create a layer mask now you can see that it is hidden so select this layer thumbnail and press ctrl i now it will invert the selection and now what we will do is uh, we will do we will select this uh, this uh, selection tool and we will press ctrl and click on this layer mask thumbnail now we we'll click on refine edge and we will blend and clean these settings we will apply uh, already defined settings on this layer and we don't need to do anything else hit ok ok so now what we'll do is uh, we will create a new document for the best size and uh, the name of the document will be exposure or we can say double exposure so we have created a document uh, by 1920 by 1080 pixel and now what we will do is we will pick our tree and drag it on our main document and then the same thing we will pick our model and drag it on our main layer or main document so press ctrl t to size it down and adjust the size according to your uh, wallpaper or your desktop it's nice here i think so so hit enter to accept these settings and now what we will do is uh, we will press ctrl alt and make this a clip mask on this on the tree layer so now you can see that we can easily move this model from here to there and same thing we will select this uh, tree layer and we can move this also so place the tree uh, where it looks uh, best for the use so i think it will best for let me just zoom in a little bit to check where it looks nice press ctrl t we can just size it up a little bit so very nice now uh, we will adjust this uh, I think it looks nice here. Okay, so I think it pretty much uh, nice here or 
nice okay so i i, I just uh, accept this setting so what we will do is we will select the top layer which is model layer we will name this layer as model and we will name this layer to uh, tree nice now we will select the model layer and we will select uh, adjustment and we will create adjustment layer on uh, of uh, black and white on top of all layers and press ctrl alt and make it also a layer mask on this so uh, what we will do is we will set the preset to green filter so it is different for all images you can I, I, for this image i will use a green filter so now what we will do is we will select the model layer and we will go to effects and blending options and we will use blend if press ctrl and select underlying layers and select this black slider it will half it and when you press alt and take it right to the side where it looks nice it will reveal the background for this image i think it's uh, pretty much nice uh, not too much but i think we should just accept uh, these settings like 92 percent i think it's pretty much nice now we'll press alt and do the same thing for white slider We'll try to reveal these settings so uh, just play a little bit with these settings and uh, I think it's nice not too much dark and not too much light so nice okay so hit ok now press ctrl J to blend this background uh, blend this image for background with background and now what we'll do is we'll open this and we will make these uh, blend if settings to default like this and hit ok now what we will do is or uh, before changing anything we will just unmask this uh, layer to apply this on all of these layers now what we will do is we will select this model layer and uh, we will go to quick selection and we will select the uh, skin which we want to use for the front so let me just select the skin okay so we have selected the skin a little bit and now what we'll do is we will just delete the previous uh, layer mask and uh, uh, thumbnail and delete and click on apply now we'll create another one and you can see that it is blended with uh, the background very easily but before we do anything we will just press ctrl g, uh, only g for gradient tool and for the more settings we will select uh preset we will select the preset of black to transparent so hit ok and press shift or without pressing shift or it's, it depends on you so we'll just apply some of these settings on our character so to reveal some more uh, detail nice so uh, it's pretty much nice so uh, what we'll do is now uh, you can see that there is a little uh, tree uh, uh, revealing this uh, mask so what we'll do is we'll select the tree and press B from your keyboard and the foreground color should be black and we will just erase this not too much just a little bit same thing for the neck so nice or press alt or alt uh, control alt and Z size it down and make it hard okay so it's done now what we'll do is uh, okay we have pretty much done so what we'll do is we'll select the model copy uh, layer and select the layer marks thumbnail and create a uh, press control and select the model layer and click on this mark, mask thumbnail so thumbnail mask so what we'll do is we'll just complete the area which is not completed yet so very nice the hardness should be light or soft so very nice press ctrl d now you can see that we have just pretty, uh, uh, pretty much nicely done this thing so now the next thing is we will just uh, select this layer and select the layer mask thumbnail and press uh, B and change this uh, to foreground color to black and size it up and we will just 
hide these edges to look more soft and very pretty much done yes okay so we have completely done this now some little thing to make it more interesting so we will select the top layer uh, the second layer and uh, or we can see that uh, the top layer model copy layer and we will select the layer mask thumbnail and uh, we will pick our brush and select the foreground color to black and size it up and to reveal more more of it so okay so we will select the tree and we will go to select and inverse selection where is inverse selection uh, there we go now we'll just erase these outer areas to complete this thing very nice now press ctrl d yeah you can see that there is a little gap here we will just select this one and fill this gap with our brush Bo but make it more edgy to look more interesting and uh, make it a little lighter to hide these edges nice now we have a little bit done okay so uh, I think we have done this uh, pretty much nicely uh, let's just hide this layer the top layer black and white layer and you can see that it is blended very very nicely so what we'll do is we will just uh, do a little more things with this uh, skin but uh, for overall I think it's uh, pretty much nicely done but before we do anything we will just select layer mask and I'm checking that or uh, the model layer and select the layer mask thumbnail and sorry uh, this one and select the black color as foreground color and we will just erase this now it is very nicely done okay uh, the next thing is we will just select our top model layer copy and copy layer and press B and we will just size it up and make it uh, a little bit harder select the layer mask thumbnail size it down and we will make it like like uh, like something different like this and uh, we have uh, about to done so we will select all of these layer and press uh, shift and select all of the layer press ctrl g to take them in a single group so the next thing is now we will adjust some it uh, we will adjust some color of it colors of it so what we will do is we will press ctrl j and hide this group press ctrl e and the last thing is we'll just create a background color so the color should be like a little bit grayish color to make it more interesting nice or a little bit more darker or uh, nicer so uh, no no we'll just lock this layer uh, so if you uh, accidentally not to make this okay so we'll select the top layer and what we'll do is we'll create a copy of this we'll go to adjustment and curves make it more okay so now what we'll do is uh, we'll press shift and e press ctrl j again and go to filter camera raw filter there we go now we will just touch overall colors we'll go to hsl grayscale and we'll tweak some settings uh, for your uh, for your to look it more attractive so very nice and we'll change the tree color to green very nice and hit oh, uh, without hitting ok we will just go to back to the uh, we can say that uh, basic hit ok and uh, some final touches to look more interesting so go to sharpen and sharpen ok 
okay so we have pretty much nicely done this thing but you can see that there is a little bit white color and some back, uh, black things uh, around this uh, image so what we'll do is we'll just select this selection and go to uh, select and inverse press B and oh sorry erase and we'll try to erase this if it could erasable nice press ctrl D and we'll hide this white color so so we have finished our work that's the final image and final result i hope you guys uh, really like this thing and uh, if you like this please hit that like button and uh, if you want to uh, if you want to get more updates please subscribe to our channel and if you have any suggestions please uh, message us on facebook page and also visit our facebook page to be updated and we will see you in next tutorial and keep learning and take care